Hey everybody, welcome back to my little corner of the YouTube world. Um, it's that time, what is that? Trash can. <laughs> it is that time of the year again. What time of year is that? Time to get a camper ready for some trips. It's like we do every year, got to do a little uh, preventive maintenance. What is that? and boats in here this covered storage is hard to get around here lucky we got ours when we did there she blows that thing's big Alrighty, what are we doing today? Wheel bearings. Inspecting, cleaning, and repacking. Assuming they don't need replacing. I do this, since we're seasonal, I do this like once every three years. Now I, I inspect them every year, but I don't repack them. They don't need to be repacked every single year if you're seasonal like us we put maybe a thousand miles on this last year so unless you're a full timer and you're putting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on this thing you don't need to repack them every single year and i've seen some people say well i'm seasonal i do a thousand or so miles a year but before every trip i put three or four pumps of grease in there well, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. Because if you're doing that, two things are happening. One, you've got a seal blown out. Okay, you need to pull that wheel off. Check that seal. Make sure it hasn't blown out. Make sure it's not starting to blow out and grease is getting out. Because grease doesn't get used up. It just gets old. The only reason you replace grease is if you're doing what I'm doing today or you have a seal that's blown out. You don't need to repack them every year. If you're going for a thousand miles, pull your wheels off, inspect them, sure, but you don't need to repack them. If you want to, fine, go ahead. It's a waste of time, in my opinion, but there's no need for it. Um, but the other thing that's happening, if you're putting f like three or four pumps per trip in this and you're seasonal, you're filling that, you're filling that thing up and that, ac that, that axle seal, that bearing seal will blow on you because it's too full of grease. So you know do what you want to but i'm, I'm telling you if, if you're seasonal like we are and you don't put a lot of miles on this thing a year there's no reason to pull and repack every single year unless you just got nothing better to do or you want to or peace of mind or whatever but it's not necessary but we've had this three summers we're going on our fourth summer we've got a big trip coming up um 3400 miles round trip and it's the third year so i'm doing it all four of them bam 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 all right hey one other quick thing um people say well i've got bearing buddies i've got bearing buddies well no bearing buddies were initially designed for the marine industry they're waterproof keep the water etc from getting into the trailer bearings when you're launching a boat or pulling a boat out of water um, they are not a replacement for packing repacking the bearings every couple of years if you're seasonal like we are bearing buddies do not get grease enough grease 
to that inner bearing. They get this outer bearing, they do not get enough grease to that inner bearing. And if you swear by the bearing buddies and you never repack your bearings, you're gonna be in trouble. By the way, I've talked to some RV techs that love bearing buddies because they get to replace a lot of burn up bearings, races and bearings because of the bearing buddies. So there's that. All right, let's get this thing in the air. It's okay to use an axle to jack this thing up because A, I'm near the outside edge of the, of the axle and B, it's gonna be on jack stand. So this is just jacking up just for a few moments. Ugh, man. So, I can get, so I can lower it onto the jack stands. Get up there. And that's not straight, is it? I don't like that. You know, I love the cover storage, but this is, uh, doesn't make for a good level surface for things like this. Ah. Hold on. That's good and packed, but I don't know if you can see it, but that's uh, used up dirty old grease right there. Got to get rid of all of it. Let's get this thing off. There's no cotter pan on this. There's just the... Uh, See what that is. No cotter pin. Just that. Which is fine. <laughs> Did I really not? There you go. Mm-hmm. 
spacer, washer. That's good. Yeah, I'll get that front bearing out of there. Should just fall out into my hand. Right there. Grease doesn't actually look that bad. I mean, it's used. You can tell it's been used. I don't see any no signs of heat on the bearing itself So that's good. Yeah. No sound of heat. It would be the, the blowing. But no, looks good. Brakes look good. Brakes look really good. Alright, so if you're watching, you're unaware of how these electric trailer brakes work. I'm gonna bring it over here. I just wanna I don't wanna grab my tripod there with switch all over my hand. So, the way this works, these are electric brakes, so you're going down the road, you stop, you step on the pedal, the brake pedal in the truck, zzz, comes in through here, and this, I call it a puck, that may not be the, the, the right name, but, so what this does, zzz, electrifies it, boom, it spreads out, see that, see that back shoe, that's right there, see that? And that's how they work on these things and a lot of electric trailers but these look good drum looks good all right now i gotta get that out so i can get that bearing out clean it and this looks good though am i am going to clean it though to get some of this uh get the dust off of it And what's the best product in the world for cleaning this this stuff up? Yeah, you know it. You know it. Okay, one other thing real quick. I'll show you guys. Come here. Let's 
so this is called the Dexter Easy Lube Axle, okay? Um, so what you do with this, there's your zerk fitting, right? Pump grease into it, goes down the middle. And this, unlike a bearing buddy, this actually will get greased to the back bearing because, like I said, squirt it in, squirt, 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 goes down, goes down, comes out of that hole right there. Can you see that? To the hole, there we go, right there. And it gets that back bearing. Um, and it's a good system. But again, nothing on this planet takes the place of cleaning and repacking bearings. Nothing. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm doing. As you can tell, kind of obvious though, right? All right, let's get that out of there. All right, let's even get this out of here. That's without a lot of profanity. I may have something to say on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to work up here. All right, I got it. Had to put it on the ground. Cuss that a little bit, but it's out. This grease actually does look pretty good. And it's good to know that it was packed really well. Still. You can smell it though. It's, yeah, you can tell it's old. It needs to be replaced. Brand looks good though. Looking good. That's what I like to see. Gotta clean all of this out now. This is fun part. There's a lot of grease in here. Surprised how much grease there is in here. You know, there's the, these things will come. I've heard of them, and this one wasn't the case because the first thing I did. Uh, let's check sample that. They um, there have been reports of. I say reports. People saying on you know, social media or whatever that because of the rush to get these things together and get them out to market they don't put a lot of grease in here or sometimes they don't put enough in here and I can believe it yeesh You can see how this has been sitting a minute. See, all the, see the cobweb right there?
I may not have enough of these shot bottles. Eh, not just about all of it out. Rice looks good. There we go. Good and clean. Of course, gotta use this again. All right, so I've repacked like a million wheel bearings, give or take a handful of them. I've done them the old school way, you know, pack in and just like that. Done a bunch of them that way and it works fine. But so does this. This works fine. It gets them totally loaded. if you put it on the right way pushes out the old grease gets in the new grease and it's quicker you know not as messy so I prefer it now it can get hard to do a little bit so I have a trick for that also here's my thing hold on all right so this this is what I'll this is what I'll do. And it definitely works. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just pushing that old grease right out of the top of the bearing. Let's see, is it out? Looking for the good stuff to come through. Just about got it. There we go. Done. Just like that. It's the old grease. And it's come out through the bearings. It's all inside. See how, how good it is. Inside of the bearing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Next. And the good thing about this thing is when you're done, you just put the cap back on it. You just put the cap back on it and leave the grease in there so it also stores it all right next
I'm gonna give this one one more shot. Yeah, that's good clean grease coming out of there. I don't know if you can see that. That's clean grease coming out of the top of that bearing. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna have enough shop towels. I'll have to go get some more. All right, get this new seal put in here. I always like to put a little dab of grease on the rubber. Yep, right there. There we go. Should have started there to begin with. Come on. Thank you. All right, what's going to vibrate off that? Probably. Let me move it. This. Let me move it. One pseudo done. All right, let's go put this thing back on.
All right, let's put this thing back together. I do like putting a little bit of grease here before putting everything back together. Let me do something else right quick. Come on. There we go. Forgot about one other little spot. I always like to put grease on. I like to put some on the bearing race. I know the bearing's got tons of grease in it, but this is still what I like to do. All right. Do it. Stab some on the outside. Just put some on the back of this washer, spacer, whatever you want to call it. And you see it's got a little flat spot on the inside, so it's, it's index. Goes on there. Booyah. And this. Come on. So, 
I'll do that. I'll snug her down. I know, just just wait, just wait. A little more on the snug. And we'll back her off. That. This has also got a little tab on it. So it's indexed as well. And it goes right there. Not quite. Maybe. There we go. One done. And because I'm having to do it on this, this gravel, it, it's so, it, it, you know, I was going to jack up the, this side of it, take both of them off, do both of them at once, but it's just, it's not working with the way this, I got to do them jack one at a time. So that's one wheel, two bearings down, four wheels, eight bearings left. I'm gonna be here a minute. I am not going to video every single one of them because it's rinse and repeat. And that'll make for a very, very long video that I'm not interested in having to edit. And I'm sure you're not interested in watching a video that's gonna be that long. So I'm not gonna do it. However, I will use the flux capacitor and zip through the rest of them. I wish it was gonna be as fast in real life as it is on this video, but it's not. All right, I'll be back when we're done. I'll come back to troll toes in a minute. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna leave the cap off. This cap off. <clears throat> Clean.
no room on this side. This is going to be interesting. There we go. All four. All four done. Seals replaced, brands look good, and all of them, brakes look good, and all of them. Uh, I also inspected the backs out of the wheel since I had them off, you know, because those are steel wheels. And just looking for any cracks or anything like that, uh, or anything that's, you know, not good. Um, inspect the tires, make sure there's no nails, screws, or any other FOD. Uh, if you get that, you know what I'm talking about and the uh, inside of the tires so everything looks good on it one step closer to being ready to roll so that's it for this one appreciate you guys watching i would also appreciate it if you would uh, hit that like button take a second and subscribe that would be cool oh yeah it's a mess back here turd hust turd hurst when we uh, camp it with no sewer hookups. We're just piping in that. Take it to the dump station, dump it. Kind of nasty, but it is what it is. But yeah, anywho, um, appreciate it liking us and uh, subscribe my little channel here. Help it grow some. Um, but uh, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Peace.